All right, so in this lecture, I'm going to show you how you can change the text position and increase the figure size. All right, so the previously we had seen how we can change the text color sizes and the face. But in this lecture, I'm going to show you how you can change the position of this text color and how you can increase the overall size of this figure. Let's go ahead and just copy it and then paste it here and run it. So this one is the default image which we are getting from the previous lecture. Now we need to first increase the size of a figure. You, for that we are going to add few lines of the code here. We are going to actually make here a default setting so that we don't need to add every time to change the figure size and the font size. To add it as the default setting we need to put it into options and thereafter inside that we need to put it in representation dot plot dot width is equal to equals to 14 thereafter you have representation and then plot dot height all right that i'm going to put equals to 10 Thereafter, once you run it, then you will notice that the size of this plot is increased there. All right, the size of this plot is increased a lot. Instead of that, I'm going to put it 7. All right, so with the 7, we will be able to see it a plot something like this. A 7 is quite low. Let's see if 8. So 8 seems good for me. You can set any plot size, whatever fits for you. This 7, uh, this 8 is fitting for waste for me. So I'm just going to put it as 8. All right. Thereafter, thereafter, I'm going to put here the base size of this figure. I mean, base size of this font. So that you can put it into a theme set. So whatever theme you are using there, it's going to set it, set there by default there. So I'm going to put here a theme gray. All right. So I'm using here this theme gray. In the theme gray, I'm going to put the base size is equal to 20. All right. That means it's going to increase the size of this text data. You can increase it a little more if you want, like a 24. Then you will notice that the size of this text data is increased to the 24. But I'm going to put it a 22. I think that suits best for me. Uh, other than that, perhaps the 20 will be 15. Uh, all right. So the 20 is a little better than um, the 24. Thereafter, I'm going to just put few more thing here as a default. I'm going to put this alignment in the center. That's mean the title and the subtitle alignment in the center that you can simply do it with the theme update. So there you have theme update in that you have plot dot title is equal to element underscore text. All right. And in that I'm going to put here edge adjustment. That's the horizontal adjustment is 0 0.5. And thereafter we are having it a plot dot subtitle all right then we say here this element text all right there we have the horizontal adjustment is 0 0.5 so what this 0 0.5 is gonna say 0 0.5 means it's going to it's going to put it into a center of this plot and if you run it, you will notice that this plot is now inside the center. And there, this new line, I'm going to just remove there. And there, you are getting it in a better representation. This one is the title. There, you have a subtitle. You can also change it to 1. If you change it to 1, you will notice that it is now right adjusted. But we want it 0 0.5. You can change it to any other value like this one you can change it to 0 0.3 something like this but 0 0.5 is going to make it in in a perfectly middle of this plot and this data source i'm just going to keep it 
as it is otherwise you can also put there the plot dot caption and then you can set the horizontal adjustment for this data source that's mean for the caption all right so that's how you can set these alignment and these alignment can be set automatically with this setting now one more thing if you notice we are giving here these text color by default text color all right these are actually not default text color we need to set these every time for example if we copy it and paste it there and since we have already set these things so we don't need to set that one thereafter if we delete this part of the code and if we run it what do we see there we see something like this and do you notice the difference the setting which we did here for the title subtitle and the caption in the term of color and other things we don't see those things here all right because these things were not set as a default in this theme update part all right so we need to set these things as the default all right so i'm just gonna copy it from here and in the title i'm just gonna paste it there and then i'm gonna put it there a comma then i'm gonna bring it here then once again for the subtitle i'm gonna just copy this whole thing thereafter i'm gonna put it before the edge adjustment you can put it before or after it doesn't matter much thereafter finally i'm gonna get this one i'm gonna get it for the caption other settings like the adjustment i'm not gonna change but i want to put these settings like the text color and the size and the face italic just run it and once we run it we see it as it was previously but if we run it now and we don't have any of these setting here and then we will be able to see these settings which we did earlier that's mean this setting will be now applied as default setting in this whole jupyter notebook that's in for other plot you will be notice you will be noticing that the color of the title will be dark and the color of subtitle and the caption will be the lighter gray color all right and other settings will be used as a by default setting for our uh, for all other types of the plot all right i'll see you next lesson